best job in the world. Not because I'm a congressman, but because I get to represent the people of Pittsburgh. Yeah. This is a city of champions and a city of hardworking folks. And we have a bill that I have been proud to be an original co-sponsor of in last session of Congress and in this session of Congress. We passed it in the House of Representatives, and I promise you we'll pass it again in the House of Representatives when it comes out. Let's get some facts straight here, because there's a lot of misinformation about this bill. Here's the facts. An active union supporter has a one in five chance of being illegally fired for union activity. 26% of employers in organizing drives fire at least one worker for union activity. 75% of employers hire union busting consultants to help fight organizing drives. 78% of employers force employees to attend one-on-one -on -one meetings against the union with their supervisors. 92% of employers force employees to attend anti-union captive audience meetings. 51% of employers threaten to close their businesses if a union's formed there. Does this sound like a level playing field to you? All we're asking for is justice. Let's get one other myth out of the way too. We're told that this takes away the sacred right to a secret ballot for workers. How touching of our employers to be worried about our rights to a secret ballot. Well, let's get the facts straight. This bill does not stop a secret ballot from taking place. What it does is let the workers decide if they yeah. want a secret ballot. Yeah. This, this is the holy grail for the labor movement, for working people. A chance to organize, a chance for a better life. The same chance that my grandfather got when he came over from Ireland and got a job in the steel industry, and my father when he worked 30 years at Edgar Thompson. My brothers and sisters wouldn't have been able to go to college if it wasn't for labor unions raising the wages and the standards of our families here in western Pennsylvania. There's a middle class in this country because of the labor movement, and that yeah. middle class is shrinking. Yeah.